Oh, believe me. I know you don't believe me. It's not a lie. I told you so. It's the matter of life. But the second I'm alone, the second I'm alone, I don't know why. All the bad. Doing all the bad things to get me thrown out But I don't want to live my life angry Next time I'll So I'm just gonna need some time Next time I'll But I don't want to live my life wrong Next time I'll Let's give it just one more try Believe me, I know you don't believe me. It's not a lie. I do this for the rest of my life. But the second I'm alone, the second I'm alone, I don't know why. I do all the bad things to get me thrown out. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you for being here. Um, all right, so you've got a new album out. It just came out on Big Crown Records, um, Our Love in the Light. And is, are you playing all tunes from that today? Correct. All right, and so what is, let's see, what's coming up next? You've got another tune to play for us? Yep. song's called Own Up. And what can you tell us about Own Up? Own Up is a song I wrote, a uh, basic love song many, many years ago. Uh, actually, somebody had asked me to, uh, So I wrote this instead. So this is what that turned into? This is, yeah, this is me learning a Beatles song. <laughs> <laughs> or why I, I, won't. I, I can't learn. I won't. Cool. Cool. We'd love to hear it.
It's great. I think that that uh, interpretation of a Beatles tune turned out great. It's okay. It's all right. It's uh, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, Paul, you and your dad have been a part of the New York music scene for a long time. Um, can you tell us a bit about? Um, what that's been like to be uh, to be around music in New York with your dad for um, for how how long you guys have been? It's been fantastic. I mean, can you step up to the mic as well, please. I apologize. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Pop, 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 and I have been singing a long time. Obviously, he uh, he's the reason why I got started doing it. Just driving around, singing harmonies in the car. Uh, the first couple of bands I played in weren't weren't. I don't think it was anything he really liked. He just bared with it, you know, until uh, our styles changed a little bit. And then when the styles became a little more into what he was into, he started, started singing. And uh, it's been great. You know, the other day we played on the Lower East Side, and it was, uh, I haven't been there so, so many years, it feels like. And uh, it was a nice flashback to, to remember when we were doing, like, Pablo stuff and the Weck stuff. And even before that, it was, uh, it was nice to see it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm just a lucky guy, you know? It's been it's been great. It really has been, you know? It's, it's because of that guy. No, I've been the lucky guy. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's been a good ride. Good ride. Great. Yeah. Great. Well, so you've got uh, another song to play for us off the new album. Uh, what can you tell us about this one? Well, this song's called Once in a While, and um, when Tommy and I were working on this record, uh, we, we had started getting into the idea of the Shalada, uh, doo-wop thing, bringing pop back to do the doo-wop stuff, and uh, this was one of the songs I, I, I wrote for that, and uh, and pop was, at the time, it was, I don't think he was feeling the doo-wop, I don't think he wanted to do doo-wop so much, he was like, ah, I did that, I don't, I don't want to do that anymore, so I was like, all right, I guess I'll put it on a, on the Paul and the Teletrees record, you know, I'll do it, and I still made him sing all the doo-wop stuff on it anyway. How are you feeling uh, about it now? Uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah. loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> I think he just wanted it for himself. He's saying, I denied it. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> Deny it again. <laughs> but yeah, that's sort of where that, that, that the song came from. You know, it was the, the idea of uh, this, this doo-wop thing that we were going to do. And so uh, he wasn't ready to make that happen, so I just took it for this. Got it. Yeah. Well, I'd love to hear it. Once in a while, occasionally lately, once in a while, once in a while, never again. Okay, well, maybe once in a while, once in a while, what could I say? in a while Occasionally lately Once in a while Once in a while Never again
was great. Thank you. So, you guys, Paul, a lot of a lot of the stuff that's coming in from Facebook right now. There's a couple of different languages, but the idea here is very original. I love it. This is beautiful, and I think that's Portuguese. Um, but it, there's a lot of originality. Comments about the originality of the sound, which I agree with completely. And that I think it's it's got to stem to a certain extent from the fact that you guys have been around such an eclectic music scene as exists here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, I mean, there's a pretty broad web of musical families here. There's a lot of people that have played in a lot of different projects. How did you arrive at this arrangement for this band? Well, um, I guess I, it wasn't, I didn't really think about it. Uh, you know, it just, it just, I wasn't thinking about what the sound was going to be like when I wrote the songs. You know, I just, it was like I wrote the songs and then we, it just sort of happened. Tommy and I agree on a ton of musical influences, but I still think we both, after tracking the record, um, still don't know who exactly to, when people ask what it sounds like or, or what, or, you know, what you think it sounds like, it's tough to explain to people. Um, I mean, it's rock and roll, you know, obviously. Uh, I think I think that's, that's kind of a thing, but... Um, in terms of like where, how we were getting to this sound, um, I don't think we really had a, a, a definite, uh, you know, influence in terms of how we were gonna make this go. We knew we wanted to keep it to eight tracks and sort of, uh, you know, Tommy's a, a stickler for making sure it stays on tape. And so that's fantastic. So it just, it, it has this thing. I, I, I don't know how else to explain it really. You know, none of it was thought of beforehand other than let's just, all right, these are songs, they're good songs, let's put to, let's put it together, figure it out. You know, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, it came out beautifully. Um, you Rock Paul says uh, Billy Oxstick. Uh, he wanted to let you know that, so <laughs> that's happening. Hi, hi Billy. Um, cool, are you guys good to go into the fourth? Do you need to take a minute? you need a uh, coffee, beer, any of that? Uh, no, let's, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're rolling. Great, we're ready. I've had enough I'm leaving up The longest stuck on maybe Oh, it's been about time Cause I'm no longer needed And with the way I was treated I must have I'm gone. 
Well, do you guys have anything? Uh, do you guys have anything coming up in the near future? Where can we see you uh, see you live? Is there anything booked right now? The next one uh, booked is January seventh with uh, Lee Fields and the Lady, uh, Big Crown Love Fest at Urban Plaza. Great. Can you hear that? Am I? Am I? Because I, I, I'm sorry. Probably. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> 117 so Irving Plaza with Lee Fields. It's a big crown 17. showcase. It's not a showcase. It's a. It's. I think it's Lee, it's like Lee Fields show. But he was sweet enough to ask me on. So. Uh, yeah. Cool. That'll yeah. be fun. I'll be there. Yeah. Thanks for having. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so yeah, our love, our love in the light is the album that was four songs from that. And guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks to Brooklyn Logger.